So right now we're at the adit of this mine and what we're trying to do is we're trying to ascertain where the adit enters and connects to the main mine. The main mine is up on the top of the hill but it goes down at a steep incline down and we think eventually meets up with this tunnel. There are not a lot of tailings here which does suggest that either it's short before it connected to the main uh, mine. It could also mean that the rocks and the, and the ore and everything was just simply hauled up to the top of the mountain. We're going to try to answer all those questions. So where we are now is the top of the stope. This is where they first found their first winnings of magnetite, their first ore, and they proceeded to follow the ore vein downward into the mountain. They were probably quite surprised by how much they found because the immensity of this cavern is truly cathedral-like. It's, it's one of the largest stopes that you're going to see out in the highlands. I'm looking forward to seeing the large cathedrals underground and also after doing the climb which wasn't that you know intense but now to go back down deep into the earth almost to the level we were at down at the bottom is going to be really exciting and then see if we can push the water to find that's at it uh, these are two stoles that were used they say to support the roof but really if these crack then you know that the roof's going to get an early warning system. It goes up about 60 feet to the surface. And if we're only 60 feet deep now, then we're just getting started. So throughout this mine are pillars, and that's basically the ore that's left behind to support the roof. Think of it like a building column. And there's many of them throughout this mine because if they were to be mined out, even though it's perfectly good usable ore, it would compromise the integrity of the stope and then the ceiling would come down. All right, so we're gonna go down to this pillar here, but we're gonna stay to the left because on the right, you're going to have a nasty fall. Not only do they bring the magnetite out of the mine, but they have a lot of waste rock to contend with. Instead of hauling all of that waste rock out of the mine, which amounts to a lot of effort, uh, they can just simply leave it in the mine. And if they have a good place to place it, they just stack it up and they create these huge stone walls, like this one behind me, which is nothing but unusable rock. It's cheaper to leave it here than to bring it out of the mine. So I'm gonna show you one of the last sections of the mine, which still has track in it. No rail, but just the ties, which is really kind of cool to see because it's it shows you the means by which they moved ore around in the mine. Here, I'll show you. These are the remains of the narrow gauge railroad track. You can see the ties are still firmly in the ground after all these years. It tells the story. It helps tell you how they moved ore in and around the mine. I think that we should ROV the big lake uh, because it's, it's expansive. I think there's less of a chance of running into obstacles. We're gonna be sending down the V6 into this mine. Oh, 
Perfect edition letter. Wow. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's a find. Yeah. Let's. This is amazing. Yeah. That is just an abyss. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's nice and clear, too. Like, yeah. there's no. Uh, Thank you. 